are David and Alyssa Muller getting ready to head out on our cruise. Yep, we're gonna go on our first Norwegian cruise. We're really excited to uh, be going with a large group from Ignite You, which is a local networking group. We cruise with lots of other couples and or groups for Ultimate Achievers, but we've never cruised with Ignite You. The networking group is ran by really good friends of ours, uh, Sherry and Karen Murray. We gotta check out Ignite You. They are the best connectors and they're not salesy, which is what I love about how they network people together. So here we are on board the beautiful ship, the Norwegian, Norwegian getaway. getaway. Yep. With Karen and Sherry Murray, and they run Ignite You Travel that we're traveling with, and also the uh, Ignite You Networking. How did Ignite You get started? When we first started, it was just Sherry and I in a little coffee shop in South El Piala, and we didn't hardly know any business owners, so I'd tell her what I did, and she'd tell me what she did, and then we'd go home, and it was a pretty short meeting. <laughs> and then it evolved from there, a couple other people showed up like a couple months later, and then a couple other people, and so we started using Facebook to promote our weekly meeting, and uh, boom, and it just blew up. Yeah. So one of the things that I've noticed about Ignite You and the networking specifically is I feel like you guys kind of pioneered that model of the round table and you know it used to be networking everybody stands up and take a minute do a minute commercial but you know once you get more than about 25 people you're out of time by the time that's done. How did you guys come up with that idea? We were just like you we'd go to all the networking events where you do the 30 to 30 second to one minute pitch about yourself. It's about the biggest waste of time there is in my opinion because no one listens, no one's paying attention. Okay, how do we change this up so it's more intimate and you get to, you can actually get to know people? We have the open networking where you still have the 100 people that you can network with, but then when you actually sit down and have to talk to people, there's only eight people. And so that's why we went to the format we did and it's just, it's gone gangbusters. All right guys, so we're at our excursion. David, what's the name of this place? Gumbalimba. All right, so we just rented a locker to put our stuff in because apparently the monkeys like to take your things. You have to take a picture with the monkey. Yes, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there is a pickpocket. <laughs> you get anything? Yeah, you got something in there. What is it? Oh, oh he's grooming me. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, that's nice. Rainbow. Rainbow, jump. <laughs> I have seen you guys in your private Facebook group talk about the successes of the people that are in the networking groups. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I get chills when I think about it. Like, you guys have really impacted small business in such a large way. Can you give us an example or two? There are, there's a number of stories. I'm, I'm even thinking about someone who's on this cruise with us. Stephanie uh, Prosser is on this cruise with us. Stephanie actually joined Ignite You with a metal company. She created, she this, she created this metal yeah. art, and but we never saw her. She would never show up, right? Mm -hmm. She's super busy. She can't come to the events. So all she's able to do is network with in our Facebook group. Before she started showing up at the meetings on a regular basis, she was generating $10,000 a month through our group. And then she thought to herself, I wonder if that would go up if I started attending the meetings. <laughs> so now she's attending as many meetings as she can, which is uh, a lot of them. And she's seen it's now up to about between sixteen and $18,000. Wow. People go out to network in our room to create relationships. Yes. Business is almost secondary in yes. our room. And so the reality is, is the, the personal relationships and friendships that are built there, they equate out in business as long as you're not pushing your business yeah. first. It's, yeah. just, it's totally opposite of what people think networking is actually about. Alright, so I don't know what's in here, but it smells really, really good. It's liquor and candy boutique. I know you can't smell this on video, but it's, it smells good. The coolest thing about places like this, we got samples. It's chocolate, and it's really warm here, so it's kind of melty. So. Mm. <laughs> the great thing 
about us as um, as couples is if you learn from them and you pivot from them the key is to pivot when the timing is right and when it feels right and you can see just based on their story how many different times they've pivoted to get this gigantic networking group that literally people are referring into because they love the group they're servant driven leaders it's obvious in everything that they do they want to serve people they want to help people and then their core values definitely are aligned with everything that they do if you're local to our area you can check out ignite you that's the first step is just come to come to one of their gatherings they have meetings right now currently Tuesdays and Fridays if you're not local but you'd like to check out ignite you travel what's a great way for them to connect with you guys uh, two ways you can either go to our website which is igniteutravel.com and it's ignite I G N I T E the letter U travel.com or you can also find us on Facebook under Ignite You Travel as well. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of this Thanks lovely for vacation. Us. Of course. Yes. yes, and uh, spending some time with our people. And I know you got lots of value in that. Hopefully, you uh, rewatch this and take some notes if you didn't have uh, your, you know, your notebook and paper ready. All right, Muller's out. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.